Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Quick, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I have a new product launch video for you. So right now it is campaign 11, and they are introducing our new Magic's Tint, which I am so insanely excited about. A few years back they had our BB cream and our CC cream, which I loved because it was just like a, it was a nice moisturizing soft tint of a foundation so it would just blur my little imperfections a little bit more and so it just gave me a like a nice sheer coverage which is what I really 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 like especially because I sweat a lot <laughs> kind of TMI but anyways I really liked that finish so I was like oh no they're getting rid of it when they discontinued I was legit super sad like I am thrilled now that in campaign 11 here they have the new Magic's Tint. There's a total of six different shades, and that includes fair, light, light, medium, 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 deep, and deep. And so what they're suggesting is, uh, suggesting? Suggesting, I can't talk. Suggest, suggesting, suggesting. Oh my God, what's wrong with my lips? Okay. So what Avon's suggesting is for you to actually get two different shades if you need to. One for the winter months and one for the summer months. So right now we're in spring, so I still have a fairly light complexion. I think I lost most of my tan from my vacation. And so I'm going to try a lighter tint. But I did order both of the ones that I think would probably suit me the best. So the one that I ordered was light medium and also the medium one. And I'll do a swatch on both of them for you. The, the actual name of it is... Avon's Magic Tint Brightening Tinted Moisturizer. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it's still great. And it, you know what? It's very self-explanatory just the, by the name of it, right? So it's a tint, so it's not a heavy, heavy, heavy uh, foundation. It's moisturizing and it's brightening. So all three things that I am looking for right now at my time of at this time of my life. This particular product has been dermatologist and allergy tested, and it's vegan. And of course, non-tested on animals, which is like, yay! So the coverage is uh, illuminating sheer coverage. Um, it's skin enhancing and the finish ha has a, it gives you like a bit of a radiant glow, which I'm excited to try. I haven't tried this product at all. So I am going to be testing this out for the first time for you. The other key benefit is that it blurs imperfections and it, it won't settle into your pores and it won't settle into your lines, which is nice because sometimes <laughs> I... I talk a lot and I smile a lot, so I'm getting these little lines here. And <laughs> if it settles in here and I have like these beautiful foundation lines, that's no buenos, not good for me, right? It's boost moisture, which is also great. I have a couple of dry spots, but I've been, of course, using my uh, power serum, which is definitely always super duper helpful in that regards, but it's also infused with a lot of really, really healthy and uh, skin benefiting um, ingredients such as passion fruit, chia seeds, sunflower seed oil. It also has a vitamin E oil and vitamin B5. It's paraben free. And also earlier, I mentioned that it was dermatologist tested, but it's also hypoallergenic, which is like, woohoohoohoohoo, amazeballs, amazing. <laughs> I like the fact that it is lightweight for the summer and the other thing that you should know about this it does not have SPF which is good for people who don't like SPF in their makeup um, and they like to put it on top or there's some people who are, have a sensitivity to SPF so this is good that it's an SPF free product so if you want to add SPF to it you can do that as well this is ideal for people who want min the minimal makeup look they also want a lightweight formula for the summer or winter, it depends on your preference, right? A shorter makeup routine, which is something I'm always looking for, and also, again, additional moisturization for your skin, which is great. Okay, so I'm going to try, I'm going to swatch both of these for you, so let's open these babies up. This one is the light medium. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Might be a little light for me, but we'll see. It's supposed to be flexible. And this one is the medium. If you're representative in your uh, What's New campaign 11, What's New, they have this kind of refer to chart, which is kind of shows you what you should suggest to your client. If you don't have the paper version of it, don't worry. You can always click up here and you can uh, see how I kind of go back to old brochures and uh, you'll be able to access it. Just kind of clip it and just post it into your computer and save it so that you have it for future reference. This is the medium one, I digress. This one does look a little bit darker, so this will definitely be better for the summer for me. So what, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch them for you on my hand. So let's see, are they sealed? They are sealed inside. So I'm going to twist, twist, twist. Boom, 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 boom. Brand new products. See, I've never tried it yet. I haven't tried it. I'm trying it for you. Actually, no, I'm trying it for me too. But I'm also going to turn on this light. 
three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have a makeup magnifying um, mirror here to kind of show everything, which can be a good or bad thing. So this is the medium one, and here we go. So it's open now, and we're going to. Oh, it's very. Well, actually, it's quite dark. Okay. I think I have a, a bit too much. It's a much lighter formula than I was expecting. Yeah, that's gonna be way too dark, but you can use this as contouring if you want. That'd be way too dark for me right now. Yeah, that might even be way too dark for me in the summer. <laughs> this is medium, right? Yeah, that's medium, okay. And then here is the light medium one. I'm just gonna put a little dollar. Huh, interesting. Am I supposed to shake this before using it? Okay. So there's the light medium one. I'm just gonna swatch it. All right, and this is the deep one. So if you see the two different shades, it's actually quite a big difference between the two. But for today, I am definitely going to try out this one. I think the light medium is definitely gonna be a lot better for my, for my, for my face. Which one do you think? This one or this one? I say this one. Yeah, all right, here we go. So I'm gonna wipe this off. I am going to try this one on my face. I have my beauty blender here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I don't want to do this. I'm going to put it on my finger first because I'm not familiar with this product yet. And then I'm gonna dab it all over. Ooh, it is very light. You know what? I'm just gonna do this half of my face first. Take two. I'm gonna wipe your shine off. Oops. All right, so you can only see one side of my face first. So now I have some product on my face and I'm going to dab away. So I learned about the beauty blender. So you're actually supposed to just dab, 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 dab. Don't rub or you're just kind of rubbing makeup off. So you just dab, 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 dab. It goes on really, really well. Ooh, okay, okay. This side of my face has the magics and this side doesn't. It definitely has a really nice coverage. I didn't use any primer today. Cause I mean, I'm not dancing tonight and I don't have any shows. But it's, re it's really moisturized. Actually, it feels dewy, which is nice. It's kind of doing a pretty good job of hiding some of my redness here and my under eye circles. So if you look, I'm gonna turn the light off so you can look even though even light. It's okay. So it's not a concealer, okay, which is fine because I wasn't expecting it to be a concealer, but it is a really nice light covered. It's just covering up the, the my freckles just a little bit enough that I have like almost like a little bit of a sun kiss look to it. But and I like the fact that it's not, you know, how sometimes like foundation can end up cakey. I don't know. It's just I'm choosing the wrong foundation for my skin or I'm not using the correct base or something. I'm, I'm not a makeup artist. I just I like to test products and I love playing with makeup. And so this is basically <laughs> your average person's review of makeup, which might be a good thing. But yeah, I really, I, I, do, I like how this feeling, yeah. Okay, so you see how it's kind of like covering up most of the redness here? It's just kind of giving a more of a glow. This side's the naked skin and I mean, it's, it's yeah, I have redness here, I have dark circles, I haven't been sleeping enough lately. Mmm. And sometimes when I do foundation, it does settle into my little smile lines here. And right now, it's not, see? So yeah, once again, this side's magics, this side, none. Unmagical, magical. So I'll do the other half of my face, and then we're gonna do a final thought on the product. Another thing I do too sometimes is I just put it on the back of my hand, right? And I don't know which is the better way to do it, but when I watch makeup tutorials, they always put it on their face and then they use the beauty blender. But this is another way to do it. I put it right on the beauty blender and then put that on my face. Like that. And then dab it in. Yeah, like you can see how it's just like, almost like erasing. <laughs> look, look at that, look at that, look at that. It's almost like it's already erasing the little freckles and stuff. Oh, cool beans, okay. 
The more I use it, the more I like it. My chin into my neck so I don't have a darker floating head into my sideburn. It does definitely give a bit like a glowy, dewy look to your skin. Yeah, like on camera, like with this lighting over here is actually I even like even better. Like I look really powered now because I have nothing else on my face and so it's just like it's a blank canvas really. But I like the fact that some of my freckles still show through because I don't like covering them up completely. Because I mean like, well, I have freckles and I'm okay with my freckles. I like my freckles. So it is definitely a little more, it's definitely a more natural. A more natural look. I might next time actually try instead of the light medium, I might even get the light one to try because I feel like this actually might be a smidge dark for me right now. But I'm going to tr see after I finish all of my makeup and go from there. But the actual finish itself feels good. Overall, I do like this. And so right now it's going to be $15, but it's on sale right now for $12.99. And I mean for $12.99, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good foundation. Oh, it does tell you. Apply small dots directly on face and blend with fingertips, brush, or sponge. What do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer using like a beauty blender or do you prefer using like a foundation, a foundation brush or do you like just using your fingertips? I used to just always use my fingertips, but then I got into the whole beauty blender thing and I just find it a little bit easier and a little bit more, uh, what's the word, even application. Um, yeah, but like, no, it does feel really, really nice. I think it's a little bit... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, it's a little bit, not, I don't want to say heavier because definitely it's not a heavy formula, but it is a little bit heavier to compare to the BB cream I used to use. So it's like one step up closer to foundation, but it's still definitely a tint because I mean, it's, it's a very nice sheer coverage. It's probably also a bit buildable if you want to build it. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. The more I look at it, the more I like it. I'm good with this product. I like it, I'll be using this more. If you're interested in getting yourself one of these Magix tinted, brightening tinted moisturizer, make sure you do contact your local Avon representative. If you do not have a local Avon representative, please do click that link down below and click my e-star links and get one of these delivered directly to your home. Or better yet, why not you open up your own free Avon membership? And yes, I did say free. It's free until May 15th, okay? Again, it's free to join Avon or to start your own Avon business until May 15th anywhere in Canada. Just click my e-store link down below and you can also save on all of your own beauty products, home products that you're ordering from the company. And if you open up your online store, you can also sell across Canada and make some money on the side. If you enjoyed my review today of this Magic Tints, please make sure you do give me a big foot thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have new videos up every single week. You don't want to miss one of those. I love you guys. Bye.